to Vito's Italian Cucina. Today is a very special day with a very special guest. Guess who? My wife, Narita Giambalvo. She's going to be joining us in the Cucina. Narita, come on in. Hi. Hey, there she is. I like to call her Nora. Nora G. That's fine. I like that too. Hey, can I give it a kiss? Come on. Absolutely. Can we do that Thank on you. camera? No, that's the only thing. Anyway, I'll tell you right now, this is going to be great. She's going to join the show, and she's going to bring you her idea of what she's going to be cooking for you, which is going to be totally different than what I do. So I think you're going to like this. You want to tell them a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. So in my life, I've been trying to lose some weight. And at my age, it's so hard for me to do that. But I found something that's working for me, and it's taking sugar and flour out of my diet. So I've come across some really good recipes, and I wanted to share a couple of them with you just to let you see how delicious it really is and how it can help your lifestyle. Yeah, that sounds pretty doggone good. Yeah, so, it really is. So, you're going to get started, I guess, right? I am, yes. What can I do? Well, I I think I got it, honey. Um, I I believe there's a game on what? right now. A game? Yeah, I heard it was the Cardinals. Oh, uh, Cardinals. Um, you love the Cardinals. Mm, have a good time. Um, okay, yeah, go ahead, thanks, go ahead. hon. See yeah, right, later. right, right. So, thank you for joining me today. I wanted to show you how I make my homemade lettuce cups. They're super delicious, very easy, and they don't have sugar or flour, and they're pretty low sodium. So let me show you what we have for our ingredients today. We have some water chestnuts, some green onion, some julienne carrots, some garlic powder, some toasted sesame seeds, and some light soy sauce. I make my own light soy sauce because if you go to buy light soy sauce, they usually charge more, even though it's light soy sauce. So I buy regular soy sauce, Mix it half water, half soy sauce, and voila, you have your own light soy sauce. It's delicious, it tastes great, and you save some money. Okay, and then I also am going to cook with a little bit of low-sodium chicken broth today. And then, of course, we have the lettuce for our lettuce cups. I used iceberg lettuce today, and all you do is you decor it, wash it, and start pulling it out from the middle. You can also use romaine or even red leaf lettuce. And the star of our show today is diced cooked chicken breast. So what I did was I took regular skinless boneless chicken breast, I sprayed a nonstick pan with very light oil, and then I just braised them on both sides. And I seasoned them already with garlic and soy sauce. So that's what'll be our main ingredient. And I'm also gonna mix some other vegetables. We have mushrooms, yellow squash, and zucchini. So let's go ahead and get started. So first things, we're going to put our carrots and our mushrooms in the pan because they take longer to cook. So let me come over here, just pour in the carrots and put the mushrooms in. And we'll let them go ahead and get started and start getting soft before we add the other mushrooms. Okay, there we go. So, by the looks and smell of this, I think we're ready to go on to the next step. It looks like our carrots and mushrooms have softened up quite a bit, so I'm gonna add some spices. I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of soy sauce to give it some flavor. That's gonna also be our salt. I'm gonna add some pepper, because we always like pepper in our food. It gives it a delicious little zing. And I'm gonna add the rest of the vegetables at this time. So our yellow squash is gonna go in and our zucchini. We'll just put it all in together. Oh, that looks so wonderful. It's just gonna be delicious. I can't wait to try this. And then I have two more things I'm gonna add. The water chestnuts. And the green onion. And I'm also just gonna add some garlic and some roasted sesame seeds. So I like a lot of garlic and you can season it to taste. So that's probably a teaspoonful of garlic right there. And then I like the nutty crunchy flavor of these roasted sesame seeds. So I'm just gonna sprinkle them over and they give it a nice look as well. They kind of add a little bit of color and contrast to the vegetables. All right, so I am going to now put in a little bit of chicken broth so that everything gets soft and it gets really flavorful. So 
So I put in about a quarter cup of chicken broth. I'm going to let the vegetables finish cooking. And then we're going to add the chicken. And now the star of our show, or as Vito would say, the Stella Maron. And the chicken. <laughs> so we're going to dump the chicken in right now. The vegetables are all nice and cooked. So I'm going to put most of it in and stir it up. Ooh, the smell is so delicious. And this is so healthy. And it's going to be so good. All right, let's stir this together. At this point, I'm going to add a little more seasoning. I'm going to put a little more of the soy sauce and a little more of the broth. So you will season this to your taste. If you like it saltier, you can put more soy sauce. You can put more pepper. And I put about another quarter cup of broth. Okay, so all together we put a half a cup of low sodium chicken broth and probably about five tablespoons, four or five tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce. And I'll let that simmer until the chicken gets hot and everything's ready to go. Just a couple minutes. There we go. All right, so our dish is complete. We're gonna spoon it into our bowl and then we're gonna put it in our lettuce cups and enjoy it. So here we go. Everything looks so delicious and the smell is amazing. So there we are. All right, we're ready to complete our dish and enjoy it. So let's go ahead and spoon some of the chicken mixture into each lettuce cup. Give yourself a generous portion, unless you're on a portion control diet, and then you can estimate how much you should put in each lettuce cup. So I put a good portion, about that much, into each cup. And this is gonna be so good. You're gonna love it. I put two or three spoonfuls because it's all healthy and delicious. It's simply squash, carrots, some onions, and chicken breast with a little bit of crunch for, with the water chestnuts, and it's in a lettuce cup. Yum! We're all done! Our lettuce cups are ready to eat, and I can't wait. They smell wonderful, and they're so good for you. So let me show you what we did. We spooned them in here, put a little green onion, some carrots on top, and I made this little sauce. And I don't know how you like to make it, if you like it sweet or savory, but I put a quarter cup of soy sauce, a quarter cup of water, a little bit of sesame oil, a little bit of garlic, and about a third of a teaspoon of ginger. And you can just spoon it over. And then I also put one packet of Splenda because I like it sweet. If you don't like it sweet, you can leave out the sweetener and just have it savory. But I spoon it over each of these and they're ready to go. There you are, our chicken lettuce cups. Very natural, very low sodium, no sugar, no flour, no chemicals, no MSG. Oh, I can't wait to go have some of these. Thank you for joining us today on Vito's Italian Cucina. This is Nora G. And please come back and join us again soon. All right, honey, they're ready. Come on. Have some with me. Vito? Oh, well. More for me.